This guide shows you how to set colours for laser cutting and engraving using their numeric values. When creating a new file or opening a document for the laser, you need to make sure that the document colour mode is in RGB colour and not CMYK colour. To do this, you go to File, Document Colour Mode and then select the RGB colour. You can do this at any point during the creation of your file, just make sure you do it before you save your file. So we're going to show you cutting, engraving and an outline cut. Uh, for cutting it's black, so don't worry about that, that's the default setting. So, so we're going to go engrave, select it using the selector tool. Um, it's blue to engrave, which is the default engrave, as that's the fastest setting. But rather than select the colour, it has to be the correct hexadecimal number. So we're going to insert in this box 0000FF, then click OK. Now that's the correct shade of blue for the fastest engrave. So now we select the outline cut using the selector tool. What you can do there is click on it three times and it will select just one area of your vector. Then you've got the direct selector tool which is the second area down and again that will select even smaller areas of your vectors so you can just highlight and colour each specific area if you need to for cutting or engraving. But again we'll just use a direct selector tool again, select the whole lot, move down to the colour palette and again we need the correct hexadecimal number for a partial cut so that is FF0000 that will turn the image to the correct shade of red which the laser cut will read for a partial cut and you go to file save as save your image again it's in an Adobe Illustrator.ai format name your file click OK and remember to just tick the use compression box to make sure the box is unchecked and that is your file saved. So here's the final example of cutting, engraving and outline cuts, just to show the difference between the three. And now I'll show you colour settings for different engraved depths. So you can see in this image a student submitted a file, uh, lots of colour settings for different engraved depths, ranging from blue, which is the shallowest engraved, down to pink, which is the deepest engraved setting for the machine. You can see in the final image made from plywood, you can see the pink is a lot darker because the machine has to be slowed down and the power increased to allow time and power for the laser to burn deeper into the wood. Whereas you can see the blue is just a shallow engrave um, which just creates a surface detail of the image. I would recommend you stick to the blue default setting as this is the fastest setting if you use a deep engrave it takes a long time for the machine to complete so it means people will be queuing up to use the machine and also it's more expensive because it uses more of the laser life which they get around a thousand hours working use but they are expensive to replace each time. This list shows the hexadecimal numeric values for inputting colours into Illustrator which instructs the laser to complete different tasks. So the list is as follows. Six zeros is black which cuts through or cuts out your object. FF and four zeros is red which is a partial or outline cut. Four zeros FF which is blue and that's a shallow engrave which is the default setting for engrave. So remember we want to complete the job as quickly and as cheaply as possible so that is the quickest setting using the least amount of laser power. Then for the different engraved depths, you've got 00FF00, which is green, and that's a deeper engrave. 4F00, which is yellow. 004F, which is cyan. 4B, 4B98, which is purple. CB65CB, which is pink, and that's the deepest engrave setting. 